crafting and devices. Entering the Martian landscape can be a daunting task. You'll soon realise that you've left with next to no items at your disposal. Lucky for us clones, with a little searching, we can start finding and gathering resources directly off the ground. Once we have gathered enough unrefined ore, our next job will be to use our mobile 3D printer to refine some. Once refined, we can then craft ourselves a pulse excavator. This allows us to mine from larger mining nodes, something we wouldn't be able to do with just our hands. Mining nodes will provide us a greater amount of ore at one time, and once depleted, will disappear. Our next step would be to find a more efficient refining process so we can continue building our various player bases, devices and items. Here we can see this player has built a blast furnace. This device will refine ore automatically at a 2 ore to 1 bar ratio. Better than our initial mobile 3D printer which was operating at a 3 to 1 ratio. With our refined ore, we switch over to the larger wall-mounted 3D printer and begin crafting all manner of armour, scopes and other items needed to aid our survival on Mars. With our player equipped and ready for the world, they've decided to put some of their flops in their upkeep terminal. This terminal provides us ownership of our player base as well as letting us set who can use and build various devices and storage containers. Before they leave and to explore Mars further, they have built up a stasis chamber and made sure to register with it. This will provide a safe respawn point directly inside our player base if we were to happen to come into unfortunate circumstances in the world, as well as highlight its location on the player map and compass, so you'll never lose the direction of your base. That's all there is when it comes to certain bases, ores and refining techniques. I'll see you on Mars.